Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing a live swatch and review of OPI's new Infinite Shine line. The Infinite Shine line is not new, but they have recently added 30 permanent shades to their collection and I was lucky enough to receive some of the colors to try out and I'm going to be doing, like I said, like a live swatch and review and then I did do a wear test of this polish so I'm going to be showing you pictures at the end of my results and yeah, let's just get right into it. So the Infinite Shine line comes with their Infinite Shine base coat. Then you choose the color of polish you want. This is You Don't Know Jacques. And then their Long Lasting Top Coat. So I'm starting with my clean natural nails and you can just clean your nails with some rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover. I didn't film that, I don't really know why. But then I'm applying a layer of their base coat and because my nails are super, super short, it was really hard for me to wrap the tips. So I tried my best, but I was not really able to wrap the tip with the base coat that easily because it kind of got all over. But if you do have a little bit longer of nails, then definitely be sure to wrap the tip because that's really gonna help your manicure last as long as possible. So then I started painting on my layers of nail polish and as you can see, it has pretty nice coverage in one coat. One thing I did notice, um, I do have quite a few colors from the Infinite Shine collection and overall, I think their formulas are a little bit thicker so they are kind of challenging to work with. It's not too bad. Um, definitely the opacity is great, but it is a thicker formula. As you can see, I'm definitely struggling on my middle finger trying to paint that. I ended up getting it all over because I don't know, it was just a little bit difficult to work with, and part of it is because my nails are so short, but that's just something to look out for, but I think that might have something to do with the polish lasting longer. I'm not sure, but that was the only th really negative part I thought about application process. Of course, OPI's brush is thicker and it's really pretty easy to work with. So here's the second coat and this polish does cover in two coats completely. So that was really nice. I really liked this color for fall. I know it's kind of like a chocolate brown color, but I just really liked the way it looked on my skin and I just thought this color was perfect for fall. And again, I'm being super messy with my coats because it's like I forgot completely how to paint my nails, I guess. But off camera, I cleaned up with a cleanup brush and acetone. I didn't film that, but I do that with all my manicures just to clean them up and get all the polish off my skin. Then once my polish was dry, I'm applying a pretty nice thick layer of their top coat and again trying to wrap my tip. I tried to do it in between each coat, but... It was really hard to do with my super, super short nails, but yeah, this top coat seemed to dry super fast and really shiny, so that was nice for a long-lasting top coat. It was, you know, fast drying, which I've used some long-lasting top coats, and they're not always, like, the fastest drying-wise, but this one was really good. So here is what they ended up looking like. As you can see, they're super nice and shiny. And I'll definitely be doing nail art with the other colors that I got and be doing swatches and stuff like that. So be sure you're following me on Instagram at EAB Nail Art to check out all the swatches and stuff. And now I'm going to show you pictures of throughout the week. I took a picture every day of what my nails looked like. And I'm just going to warn you, like, the backgrounds of my pictures uh, are pretty messed up because I had a really busy week the week I decided to do this wear test so that's why like the picture quality is not that great I took the pictures on my phone in random places throughout the day because I was really busy and yeah so let's just show you the pictures so this is day one I did my nails kind of earlier in the morning so I did wear this for an entire day so this is day two and no big changes it looks exactly the same and super shiny Day three, pretty much the same, no different, and it looks like it's really going to last really long. Day four was the day I noticed some tip wear. I don't know if you can kind of see it on my thumb, but that was just the only thing I noticed on day four. Then day five, um, again, just a little bit of tip wear, and you can kind of see where my nails are growing around my cuticles. And then day six, um, so I had... <laughs> A really busy day and stressful day on day six so when I get stressed out I pick at my nails so obviously you can see around the tip and where my nails would normally chip there's nothing wrong but by my cuticle where I actually ended up picking my nails off that was all by me that was nothing to do with the polish or the formula or anything 
so I could have worn these nails longer but um, the chips that I created myself were irritating me so I did end up taking off my manicure but I typically don't leave my nails my nail polish on that long so I was actually really really impressed with this formula other than day six that was all my fault and I could have worn it a lot longer but <laughs> I didn't so I'll probably be doing another wear test during a less stressful week in my life but yeah I really think that if you're you know going to have busy weeks or where you can't really you know care for your nails that much I really think that this infinite shine line is really great for you I really had positive results with this and that's it so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye